Hey guys, Pat Calm here with Studio Sweat On Demand, and I have Miriam Girari Turner here with me today. Hey y'all, how are you? I'm excellent. Good. Today we're going to talk about warming up and um, why it sucks so much. Why yep. it's so hard? I simply said. Um, <laughs> Horrible. It, it, it really feels hard. I always say the hardest 10 minutes of my workout is always the first five to 10 minutes. Yes, that's when, um, I mean, it's hard enough to put on your clothes and get somewhere <laughs> yeah. and work and be like, let's do this. Yep. Um, and then you start and you're like, oh, so I understand the barriers so much, yeah. um, but there is a, a physio physiological reason why. Yep. It's not just in your head. No, it really is harder. Um, I'm going to give you the, the layman's reason, and that is uh, really that your body has to adapt and um, it has to do certain things to trigger properly and to not feel so hard. Um, I like to equate it to a car going from zero to 60. When you first hit that gas pedal, if you're trying to go from zero to 60, the car is actually going to shake a little bit as it tries to stabilize. Yeah. And that is in general what's happening to our body. Here's why. It needs to warm up. Um, so basically, your body is not ready for the oxygen demands that you're putting on the muscles when you're starting to exercise. So it's like, basically we only have, it's called ATP for 10 seconds. Um, that's adenosine triphosphate. Uh, you don't really need to know that, <laughs> exactly. but that's why like, I gave you the layman's term. What's ATP? <laughs> but yeah. um, anyway, if you ever took chemistry in the Krebs cycle, anyway. So your body is basically like oxygen after 10 sec seconds. So it's trying to get the oxygen. So you're basically going from like an anaerobic state to an aerobic state. And it can take anywhere from five to 10 minutes based on your, you know, fitness level. Yeah. So it's going to feel actually easier for people who are more physically fit. Yes, I'm glad that you, you also brought yes, that up because yes. I think a lot of people don't realize that. So yeah, the more you do it, the less sucky it's gonna be in the beginning it's still <laughs> gonna still be sucky, no yeah, it's still gonna bit, be yeah. like oh this like this is like the toughest part of my workout yep. um but it will for those of you who are starting that's why it's so like so hard um so you're basically trying to get ex oxygen to those muscles yeah. and the biggest muscle is your yeah the, your heart, the heart right, right. Yeah, so. so your respiratory system and all your working muscles um but I gotta clarify, that's yeah. not necessarily the biggest muscle in the whole body. Yeah. <laughs> I get like torn apart but for it's stuff like, like that. It's a big muscle, okay? It's very big yeah. and it's obviously very vital. Yeah. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, we, so, we kind of need it. That's why, is there anything else as far as why warming up is so hard? Yeah, so another reason it's, um, so it's trying to flip into the aerobic system from anaerobic to aerobic. You're also trying to utilize fuel differently yeah, so that's where the metabolism comes in a little bit yeah yeah so it's like it's trying to um, basically be efficient with your glycogen storage and and all that so that's why it just it's, it's hard it's very challenging so the way the way to make it better yeah what um, I have felt and what I've read is to basically start slow with your warm-up I'm mm -hmm. not always good at that um, um, I just like try to power through and so I'll feel more of the hit. Yeah. Um, but you use big working, you use big muscles so you can swing your arms, like use your legs and um, you go slowly. Yeah. So And then it will hurt a little bit less. Yes. Yeah. And you can stretch out your warm up longer if you're just really psychologically not like into it. And, and you have time. Yeah, and you, and you <laughs> Which have time. I know is constantly I know, and I don't. So struggle. I'm always like, yeah. let's just go. Let's just go. Yeah, you are like that yeah. for sure. I, um, I found too, just even as I age, that those longer warm ups are more important to me personally, to, so it doesn't hurt so bad. <laughs> You're not aging. <laughs> no, I'm not. Reverse aging really yes. is what I'm talking about. So, anyways, let's wrap this up. Um, I do want to make sure that you understand that the importance of warming up. Uh, is covered in another one of our vlogs. So just go to studiosweatondemand.com, go to trainer tip videos, and you can see why warming up is so important, obviously, um, just so that your workout is really great and so you avoid injury, but there's more to it. And then you can also get information on what specific types of warm up you should, warm ups you should be doing based on the activity that you have planned, so. Okay, bada bing, bada That's boom. That's it, have a great one. And for those body sculpting, fat torching workouts, make sure you go to Studio Sweat On Demand. On Demand. Yep. Or uh, come into Studio Sweat in San Diego. Or come in here. Yeah.